guys, this is Romy Fauzi and this is another uh, Unity and Playmaker tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create different weapons. So here, as you can see, under my prefabs folder, I have created a couple different uh, blaster prefab or laser prefabs. And this is the standard blaster, and this is a blue blaster, and this is a big laser. Uh, each with different uh, particle properties so it looks different okay so let's check this out uh, under the playmaker FSM the each of the blaster the blue blaster specifically I have uh, create a new variables called damage power under here and it has a value of 2 and uh, the other big laser I have also create a variable uh, with the same name of course <coughs> with the value of 6 6 and let's add that to the standard blaster so I'm going to create a new uh, sorry I'm going to make sure first is it a float okay it's a, it's it is a float so go to standard blaster and create a new variable I give it a name of damage power and I've added a value of 1 okay so now basically if we uh, choose our sci-fi fighter AK-5 and then go to our fire system here we can change the object so uh, sorry okay this one we can change the standard blaster maybe to a let's try the blue blaster one and let's play this out okay yeah as you can see I have a different a different blaster and if I change this to a big laser I also have a different fire so that is the basic setup on how to create a different weapon and now let's uh, create an item so when we get this item it will uh, change our uh, blaster so like like a power up so I'm going to create a new spear and I'm going to reset the Y value to 0 and I'm going to position this around here maybe okay now and make sure that the under the spear collider is trigger is checked okay so I'm going to add a particle system probably just to make this interesting so uh, the player will try to pick this up because it has a uh, characteristic of a power ups let's make the speed a smaller size the start size maybe one is okay but the lifetime a lot smaller uh, 0.5 and change the color to a round for this one I'm going to choose a bluish color and then I'm going to uh, make the size smaller as as the lifetime ends so as you can see there we have a glowing particle and then I'm going to make sure that we have a slight alpha color so particles brighter because the additive modes and for the spear I'm going to create a I've create a new uh, self illuminated material a blue and then I'm going to drag this to the spear so the spear will be will have a blue color on it maybe I'm going to change this a bit so make this brighter okay let's 
it's not doesn't uh, I, I'm afraid that it will not be very visible because it, it is blue against blue so let's change this maybe to a bright color like this I should be okay okay so now we are going to create a new FSM for this uh, spear this power up I'm going to add a new FSM and then I'm going to create a new variable type uh, game object and we are uh, let's give this power up as the name or maybe a uh, laser power up Ah, weapon power up. It's better. Okay, choose the uh, under the value. Press the circle button, and I'm going to choose the blue blaster here. Okay, and I'm going also to change the tag to a new tag. So let's create a new tag and let's name this weapon power up select the spear again and set the tag okay so we have set up the power ups and let's create a okay maybe we can we we have two ways uh, two approach to do this we can create the FSM under the spear or we can create the FSM on the ship since we already created the FSM on the spear because we need this variable so let's do this in the uh, spear FSM so the power up FSM let's change this to a mm, hit by player for the FSM name and under the state I'm going to use a trigger to the uh, sorry trigger event and for the tag choose the player create the new events picked by player and then add the transition picked it by player send that event go to the another state uh, and then link the pick by player to the second state here and first we are going to destroy the object destroy itself and now we are going to create a global variables and this global variables will hold our current weapon so go to the variables and click global variables and let's create a new variable of type game object and perhaps name this current weapon press enter and playmaker will tell you that glo playmaker globals are created so just click OK and OK and for the default one let's choose our standard blaster so pick standard blaster okay and here on the second state let's add a set game object so set game object is basically an action for setting a game object variable uh, with a new game object of our choosing so okay choose the globals current weapon and we are going to set the current weapon to a our local variable weapon power up so if it's current weapon is standard blaster it will get changed with the blue blaster and if it's the weapon power up is big laser and it will get changed with the big laser so let's close the global here and this is already set up uh, I mean this is already correctly set up but we need to change on the player uh, the sci-fi fighter AK-5 uh, fire system and here under the create object we are going to use a global variables which is the current weapon so when the current weapon gets changed we will automatically fire a different weapon so let's save the scene and let's try this okay so we have a default blaster right over here okay let's try to get the blaster here and we have a different fire okay now let's duplicate our spear so I'm going to rename the spear to a blue blaster 
power up and let's duplicate this and I'm going to name this a big laser power up okay now for the big laser power up we only need to change the variable so select our weapon power up and pick the big laser power now we, we can push this maybe around in this area here and let's push this to another area here oh sorry okay let's save this and I'm going to make this uh, both power up to be a new prefab so go to our prefabs and drag uh, both of this oh, we, we have to drag one by one so drag the big laser and drag the blue blaster okay for the big laser I'm going to create a new material by duplicating the blue laser item and <coughs> rename this big laser item or big laser power up and then I'm going to change the color to a slight green okay and assign this material to the big laser power up okay save the scene and let's try this okay we have a changing weapon over here as you can see and let's try the big laser one see if it's working okay there you go that is basically how you create a, a weapon system and for the power up you can choose your own scenario how to I mean how to create the object maybe by defeating an enemy or you can also set a shop system so you can uh, upgrade the player ship weapons okay I think that's all for this episode and for the next episode we are going to create a player health system and I'm also going to fix a couple uh, couple uh, slight glitch on the enemy system so if you like what you're watching please subscribe and stay tuned for another exciting unity and playmaker tutorial and thanks for watching bye